بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل فائن مائی نیم از عظمت علی آئی ویلکم یو آل ان کلاس آف ریئل انالیسس دس از آور فسٹ لیکچر آن دس کورس وی ول اسٹارٹ آور ڈسکشن فرام چیپٹر نمبر ون ریئل نمبر ریئل اینڈ کمپلیکس نمبر سسٹم دی بک وی ول فالو ہیئر از ویل ریسپیکٹڈ بک اراؤنڈ دی ورلڈ That is the principle of mathematical analysis by Walter Riordan. In the introductory paragraph of this chapter, uh, if we read, author is discussing about uh, rational and irrational numbers. We know that a number is called a rational number if it can be written as m over n form. where m and n are integers and the denominator should be norm zero but there are many problems with set of rational numbers set of rational number is inadequate uh, in many purposes like as in field as in order sets we will discuss later these two terms field and order sets for example uh, if we solve the equation p square equal to 2 then you can see that there is no rational number p that satisfies this equation there is no rational p that satisfy this equation so this leads us to introduce a new number system that is called the irrational number system so here uh, we will recall some uh, basic concepts about rational and irrational numbers we know that there are three types of uh, decimal fractions there are three types of decimal fractions the first type is terminating decimal fraction terminating decimal fraction you know that a decimal fraction is called terminating decimal fraction if the number of digits after the decimal are finite for example 5.3 this is a decimal fraction of terminating type 8.128 this is also a terminating decimal fraction the terminating decimal fraction is always a rational number this is always a rational number because it can be converted in p over q form simply 5.3 can be written as 53 by 10 so this is the p over q form where 53 and 10 both are integers the second type of the decimal fraction is the second type is non terminating non terminating but recurring decimal fraction in this type of decimal fraction the number of digits after the decimal uh, will be infinite but uh, one of digit or block of digits will repeat infinitely for example uh, 5.3333 you can see here the number the number uh, digit 3 after the decimal uh, is repeated infinitely so this type of number is also a rational number similarly if we write 7.89 89 89 this is again a 
non terminating but recurring decimal fraction because here the block of digits that is 89 repeat itself finitely so this is uh, also a rational number so these two types are uh, types of rational number now the third type is non terminating non terminating and non recurring non recurring decimal fraction in this type of decimal fraction after the uh, decimal the number of digits are infinite will be infinite and uh, they will no follow any pattern for example you write 8.9735621 up to so on we cannot follow any pattern that what will be the uh, what would be the uh, the next digits after 8 so this is a non terminating non recurring decimal fraction and this type of decimal fraction is always an irrational number so the first two types of decimal fractions are types of rational number and the third type represent uh, irrational numbers because this this fraction cannot be converted into p over q form next next we move to uh, first example of uh, chapter number 1 that is very important the example example is example is 2.5 example 1.1 show that show that there is no there is no rational number p there is no rational number p that satisfy that satisfy the equation p square equal to 2 in other words uh this example can be uh, written as show that square root 2 is an irrational number square root 2 is an irrational irrational number so this is an other style of example number 1.1 because you know that uh, the solution of the equation p square equal to 2 is actually p is equal to plus minus square root 2 and you know that square root 2 is not a rational number because uh, every number of the form square root and under the square root this is a prime number this represent always an irrational number square root of any prime number will always be a rational number will always be a irrational number this is observation so uh, how we will show this that square root 2 is an irrational number or uh, there is a no rational number p that satisfy the equation we will suppose uh, we will start on the contrary we suppose that there exists a rational number p that satisfy the equation p square equal to 2 uh solution suppose suppose on the contrary on the contrary that 
देर एग्जिस्ट आर रैशनल पी डेट सेटिस्फाई सेटिस्फाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन बिकॉज हेयर पी इज एज्यूम्ड एज अ रैशनल नंबर दिस इंप्लाइज पी कैन बी रिटर्न इन एम ओवर एन फॉर्म वेयर एम एंड एन बोथ आर इन टीचर्स वेयर एन इज नॉन जीरो एंड फर्दर मोर डेट दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म of this rational number simplest form mean there is a no uh, further cancellation is possible between nominator and denominator in other short words the gcd of m and n is equal to 1 for example when we say this is 15 over 20 this is not the simplest form of this fraction because the cancellation is possible by cancelling out with 5 this will become 5 3 is a 15 and this is 4 now there is no further cancellation possible this is the simplest form of this fraction so here p is m over n uh, this is the simplest form of this fraction now by putting this p in equation number 1 we have we have by putting this equation uh, by putting this p in equation number 1 we have m square over n square is equal to this implies m square equal to 2n square now you can see that the right side that is 2n square is divisible by 2 because uh, this is a multiple of 2 this is a multiple of 2 the right side is divisible by 2 this implies the left side will also divisible by 2 because m square is equal to 2n square as 2 divides this vertical line read as divides 2 divides 2n square This implies two will also divide m square because m two n square is equal to m square. We know that if a number is divisible by two, then it will always an uh, even number. This implies. This implies. This implies m square is even. M square is even. If m square is even, then m will also even. M is also even. We know that square of a number is even, then the then that number will be always even number. So, if m is even, so it can be written as that m is a multiple of two. Says m is equal to two k. Where k is integer, k is integer. Now again, uh, putting this value of m is equal to two two k uh, here. Say this is equation number two. So by putting the value of m is equal to two k in equation number two, we have two k square is equal to two n square. This implies four k square is equal to two n square. Implies by cancelling out two with four, we have n square is equal to two k square. Now again, similarly as uh, in equation number two, the right side of This equation is a multiple of two. Here, two divides two k square because the right side is a multiple of two. This implies two will also divide n square because two k square is equal to n square. This shows that n square is an even number. Similarly, as we conclude uh, for m m square, this implies n square. Is even implies n is even. This implies n is multiple of two. So this shows that as m is even, 
Now again, n is also even. This shows that the common factor between m and n is two. This shows that m and n are even. This shows that they have a common factor two. Both are multiple of two. But this contradicts our assumption that we have supposed that the, the GCD of m and n is one. This is contradiction. This contradicts. With our assumption, with our assumption that M and N has GCD one, or there is a, uh, only one is a common factor between M and N. This shows that our assumption is wrong, and our assumption was uh, square root two is a is a rational number this is wrong this implies k root 2 is an irrational number and hence complete the exam i hope <coughs> today lecture was helpful uh, for you inshallah in the uh, in coming lectures we will discuss about the supremum and infimum of a set. Uh, we will meet in the next lecture. Okay, take care, Allah Hafiz.